Hi, and welcome to this free course in programming. We will be using a programming language called Python, but you don't have to know anything about Python or programming. We will start from the very beginning. Doing computer programming or coding means writing instructions to teach a computer how to perform a certain task, much like a recipe for making food. Every application on your computer, every app on your phone or on your watch, and every piece of electronics you ever encounter work in more or less exactly the same way and are programmed in more or less the same way. And programming is writing code. And that means writing down instructions expressed in a language that the computer can understand. And one of those languages is Python. So programming is about technology, but it's also about learning a new language. Before we dive down into that, we're going to take a quick look at how computers work. The instructions that we write down, that can be anything from printing text to drawing a game on the screen, play music or display a photo, are saved in a document, in a text file, expressed in the Python language, saved to the hard drive. And computers usually have two different types of storage, one that is more permanent, like a hard drive, and one which isn't permanent and is smaller but faster, that we usually refer to as just memory or RAM. And when we launch our app or game, the code for that is read from the hard drive and copied to this faster RAM memory. And then, line by line, each instruction gets interpreted by the very brain of the computer, the processor, or in short, the CPU. And the CPU keeps reading instruction by instruction until the program comes to an end. And at the same time, it receives signals from the keyboard or from the mouse or from taps on the screen. And if our code includes instructions for what should happen when someone taps on the screen, those instructions will be carried out and we would, for example, see the effects on the screen. But regardless of whether it's a program on your computer or an app on your phone or a digital alarm clock, they all work in the same way. The program code is stored somewhere on a permanent hard drive and each instruction is carried out in order by the brain, the CPU, and it produces some sort of effect. There are many different types of programming languages, each with their own pros and cons, but we will only be using Python here. But in short, programming means being able to tell a computer to do whatever you want that it's capable of. And that's why it's so full of creativity and that's what makes it so exciting. And how we get started and write our first program is what we'll look at in the coming sections.